Icy has left the laboratory. She understands that as long as she follows the arrow, she will discover where Judas is hiding. Oh, more soldiers sent by Judas to stop Icy. Kill them. Icy reaches a quiet hill, illuminated by light dancing off of the lake below. She is at peace. There seems to be a console that will activate the photon bridge. Icy moves to activate it. Icy slips off the edge of the cliff. Icy is absolutely positive that the only way to cross the ravine is by activating the photon bridge. For some unknown reason, Icy insisted on jumping into the ravine. She didn't realize that she has to press a button to activate the bridge. Icy finally understands how to activate the photon bridge. Using the bridge, she will certainly have no need to jump into the ravine again. What? You jumped again? God, why did you jump down there again? You have zero common sense. Wait, wait, don't panic. There's something I wanted to ask you. Are you messing with me? I told you time after time! It couldn't be any more simple. All you had to do was walk over there and press the button. Just walk slowly, press the button. Why do you insist on jumping over and over? I've never met anyone like you, refusing to acknowledge my advice. Don't you know this is an action game? Your main goal is to go kill monsters. Don't you get that? You know, you shouldn't jump into ravines over and over, right? I can't be your guide if you won't listen. You get that, right? Trust me, if you continue like this, your story will only end tragically. I'll stop scolding you for now. I trust you know how to act from here on out, yes? Let's try this again. Ha! Well done! You win, you win. I never considered this possibility before. What do I do now? Hmm, yes, I could probably make a few changes. Make a temporary area, add a few new things. Right, and a surprise. Let's take a look at what's ahead. Remember, you absolutely must listen to my directions. Ah, you see? I even prepared a treasure chest for you. Do you think I would let you struggle without giving you any rewards? Open it, if you want to. I mean, you don't have to. So much cash! Aren't you grateful? On this long and arduous road, aren't you happy to win a little bit of spending money? Right, let's get back to the story. 
follow the arrow. Damn it, again? Follow my directions. Go back the way you came. Turn around, get, ugh. Why did you insist on coming this way? Did I scare you by saying your journey would end tragically? <laughs> you people are always like this. Whenever somebody shares their advice with you, you seem to take it to heart. But really, it's just gone in one ear and right out the other. You think I'm hurting you? I've given so much to you. You wanted to jump off a cliff into a ravine. I didn't let you die. I made a new area for you. I gave you a surprise, and I even presented you with a treasure chest. But you can't even follow arrows that I laid out for you. My goal all along has been to set you on the right path. The path that I have created for you. But now, it's too late. You have no fear for the unknown and no respect for the rules. Haven't you noticed that your choices are meaningless? Have you tried opening your eyes? The truth is staring you right in the face. You and me, we only have one choice. There's only one road for us to walk. Ah, forget it. It doesn't matter. I'll just wipe your memory. I hope that next time I'll meet someone who's willing to listen to me. Or someone else, anyone else other than you. Ah, it's nearly time. Well, it's time to say goodbye. I hope the Black Star rises as it should. Goodbye, I... 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 Have I forgotten something? What was I doing? I seem to remember guiding Icy to... Carcosa? Select... I... Who... Who am I? Icy has left the laboratory. She understands that as long as she follows the arrow, she will discover where... J oh, more soldiers sent by Judas to stop Icy. Kill them. Icy reaches a quiet hill, illuminated by light dancing off of the lake below. She is at peace.
There seems to be a console that will activate the photon bridge. Icy moves to activate it. Icy slips off the edge of the cliff. Icy is absolutely positive that the only way to cross the ravine is by activating the photon bridge. A disgusting swamp rests, unmoving, in front of Icy. She must carefully jump across. Icy slipped and fell right into the sewage. Uh-huh. Icy fell again. God, are you so clumsy that you can't even make it over? Icy arrives in the moonlight forest. In front of her waits the ha. Wait, where's the bridge? Hmm. Right, just keep following the arrow. Icy jumps down. It seems like this is an old sewer. This place is littered with wreckage. Icy feels that this place wasn't always a sewer. And who is to blame? Judas. Icy jumps down into a giant cavern. Icy follows the arrow through and passes through the gate.
Icy discovers a hidden room. Icy opened the treasure chest and turned back to follow the arrow once more. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, God. All that's waiting is just an empty room. See? I told you. There's nothing here. Why did you bother coming? Oh, I know. Your hearing must be bad. Wait for a second. That is enough! I don't want to have to remind you every single time, but this world is depending on you. That wicked devil must be destroyed. You still have much to do. Why do you insist on wasting time here? I've always believed people should be a little more trusting and a lot less pompous. But you, you haven't even given me the chance to show my true genius. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't understand at all. There's nothing here. Not even monsters for you to practice killing. What sort of temptation could an empty room like this have for you? Could it be that you're absolutely terrible at using a controller? Or that your cat has taken over for you? No, it can't be that. Cats could listen to instructions better than you. Your behavior is completely illogical. Is it that hard to follow an arrow? Why aren't you paying attention? Well, I'm furious. Furious! That's it. I'm not saying another word until you get out of this room. I swear it! Dum bum da dum bum bum ba dum What? Wait, does that mean... You wasted all this time in this room just to get a trophy? I... I really have nothing else to say to you. I truly do not understand why someone would play a game just to earn trophies. Are you one of those mythical achievement addicts I've heard so much about? You're like a bull rushing towards a red cloth, not knowing what awaits on the other side. Give me a second. Ah, I see. Let's try again. A trophy. A trophy! Ugh. So it's like that, huh? You don't care what happens next, right? All you think about is get this trophy, get that trophy, 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 trophy. You don't even care about the story or the content that I've prepared for you for the rest of the game. Your mission isn't to kill Judas. It's to get all the trophies. Am I wrong? So this is what you call fun, yeah? You really think a trophy can entertain you? You're just looking for more trophy points. Do you know how that makes us game producers feel? You're rendering the content we make completely meaningless. You think playing a game for this petty reason is fun? You just want to show off to the other players. To make yourself feel big, mighty, and important. You're probably not even paying attention to what I'm saying. You don't realize how useless a trophy really is. 
Maybe you need a little stimulation. Maybe once after you collect all these damn trophies, you'll move on to accomplish your real mission. You have no idea how much time I spent making these enemies and stunning animations. And you, you just care about these trophies. If I had known that, I would have made some easy farming game and not bothered spending time on battle animations or plot development. Just you wait. My revenge is just beginning. Wait for... I see jumps down. It seems like this is an old sewer. This place is littered with wreckage. Icy feels that this place wasn't always a sewer. And who is to blame? Judas. Icy jumps down into a giant cavern. Although it's a sewer, this place seems as if it could be incredibly clean, if it weren't for the sewage. What could cleanse this place?
Icy defeats Gorger and senses that the exit is just ahead. Icy arrives at an unnamed town. There is not a soul in sight. Icy searches around the house for a trace of someone, a mark of some presence. It seems as if everyone has been wiped out. The culprit? Most likely Judas. Icy decides to head deeper into town, not hesitating to follow the arrow. Icy ignores yet another arrow and selfishly continues on her own path. What Icy doesn't realize is that unless she defeats Thor in the village, Ultimopolis Gates will refuse her entry. The gates to Ultimopolis are cl What? How is this possible? How did you get here? How could you? It's fine, it's fine. Forget it, it's not a big deal. Just keep following the arrow. Icy arrives at an unnamed town. There is not a soul. Icy searches around the house for a trace of someone, a mark of some presence. It's Icy decides to head deeper into town, not hesitating to follow the arrow. Icy ignores the warehouse in the distance and continues to follow the arrow. Icy enters the warehouse that is completely devoid of any living creature, just like the attic. Are you kidding me? Ugh, again? Can't you just follow the arrow at least once? I, oh, well, well, this level was never finished. Do you realize how much inconvenience I've suffered trying to make a successful game? A few flaws, a few bugs here and there. It's normal. Like this place. I never finished applying the colors. Don't look at me like that. I know what you're thinking. In reality, it's really difficult to make a game. And it's very easy for problems like this to appear. Just, just wait a minute. I know you don't trust me. I'll just have to show you. Welcome to the archive room. All of my prototypes are stored here. When making a good game, fun gameplay is of utmost importance. I've been iterating on prototypes for over 10 years. Can you believe it? That's an entire decade. Here, let me show you my first prototype. This is a very early version of the game. 
You could change to a long-range weapon, so that you could use both melee and ranged attacks. But then I thought, who in their right mind would care for such an amazing weapon? No player would want it. Not a single one. So, in the end, I completely abandoned this prototype. That brings us to the second version. In the second version, there was a sort of mix between the demonic enemies and the player. You could absorb the enemy's powers and use them for your own. But then I ran into a big problem. Cost. Don't you think it would be a waste to spend so much time on making such a complicated game? only to run out of cash halfway through development? After all, games do need to make money. So I cut this version as well. Unknowingly, 10 years flew by in the blink of an eye. With all the effort I spent, I think a few scattered bugs or missing features are entirely acceptable. I just want you to understand me and empathize with me. I sacrificed so much trying to make this a fun experience for you. I spent 10 years of my youth on this. Even if you're not entirely enjoying the experience, don't you think you could give the game a 5 star rating? Like this. Besides. Who's going to dig this deep into a game? The visuals are stunning. Buy it. The producer is famous. Buy it. There are so many reviews. Buy it. I thought that's all people considered when buying a new game. Like a machine spewing out cash. Do you really beat all the games you buy? Games are about entertainment. Don't place too much value on a few mishaps here and there. People will still buy the game even if the servers are bad. People will still buy the game if there are bugs. So, man, why not buy another? Icy arrives at an unnamed town. There is not a soul. Icy searches around the house for a trace of someone, a mark of some presence. It seems Icy decides to head deeper into town. Not hesitating to follow, Icy ignores the warehouse in the distance and continues to follow the arrow.
As Icy defeats Thor, the gates to Ultimopolis slide open. Icy follows the arrow, getting closer to the main gates of Ultimopolis. What Icy must remember is that she must always follow the arrow, otherwise she will be lost. The gates to Ultimopolis are open. Icy is one step closer to Judas. All she needs to do is continue following the arrow. Icy enters Ultimopolis, only to be greeted by an empty shell of a city that once flourished. Only the dilapidated buildings give some hint of Ultimopolis's past splendor, of what used to be, before Judas brought destruction. Icy arrives at a metro station and decides to take a look inside. Icy ignores the arrow. She doesn't notice the disturbing feeling hanging in the air. She should turn back. Her target is not here.
Oh, I see. You never learn, do you? You never listen to my advice. I've already said dozens of times that you must follow the arrow. I'm not your enemy. Do you think I'm trying to hurt you? Do you think that this path will lead you to the truth? Every person has their own inner demons. Do you think a quest for the truth will help you banish yours? I understand your dedication to the chase. The truth is just a lie, however. Every being's self is determined by the heavens. Why must you insist on tracking down an elusive truth? What your eyes can see may not exist at all. Instead, all you're seeing is an illusion, a projection. Do you really want to unveil this truth? You've actually already seen it, though perhaps in the form of a corpse. Or was it the corpse of yourself? You've seen a glimpse of the truth, but you haven't seen it in its entirety because you only see what you want to see. You purposefully directly ignore my directions. You simply want to resist me, but in reality, it's meaningless, no? That, perhaps, is the truth which you should see. This is the truth you seek. Yusi is extremely happy. Yusi does not know why she is here, nor how she arrived at this place. However, she feels free. No one is forcing her to make a choice, but she feels alone, lost. One day, Yusi left this place and soared across the world. Until she met them, her new friends. Yusi was finally no longer lonely. She was free to choose her own path. Yusi could feel a deep connection between the three of them. Ah, this is true friendship. This is what Yusi was searching for. Yusi was truly happy. Maybe... Icy arrives at a metro station and decides to take a look inside.
A dead end? That's not right. There shouldn't be a dead end here. There should be a... Icy continues to look deeper into the tunnel. Icy follows the arrow. She knows that she will find Judas soon. Icy attempts to explore the area, but there's nothing of interest in that direction. Icy should go back and follow the arrow. She tries to explore again. There's really nothing there. I've already told you. There's nothing here. What are you doing? Fine, you win. Look, there's nothing here. Just a small pathway and some deadly puddles of water. You should really listen to me. There's still time. Just head back and follow the arrow. What? I said, deadly puddles of water. Can you not understand me? Why did you jump in? This is a deadly pool of water. There's no telling what sort of bacteria is in there that could eat through your circuits. Do you really want to jump in? There are so many places left for you to explore. I'm trying to save you time. I'm trying to help you. I... I just want you to follow the right path. Could it be that you don't actually like action games? Or do you just think this game is too simple? Or too hard? Or that it just doesn't tickle your fancy? I get it, I get it. Wait a minute. Maybe I should let you try some other games. What about this one? It's called Koi. You're a fish, able to freely swim wherever you please. You must be tired of killing. That's why you've stopped paying attention to me. You must be tired of killing. That's why you've stopped paying attention to me. It's not a problem. This game is perfect for you. Look at the art. Listen to the music. Embrace your emotions. There's no violence in this game, however, which means it could be perfect for you. What? You don't think something this artsy is a good fit for you? Fine. You're so picky. Let's try another one. Ah, here's one. Perfect. This will definitely suit your tastes. I know you don't like my game, 
You just like jumping and running. Something with easy controls. I think you'll love this game. I found it on an island full of coconuts, and only coconuts. It's really pretty simple. All you need to do is move, uh, and sometimes you'll need to jump. When you see a light, jump again. What do you think? It's simple enough for your tastes. Clearly each level should be easy. <laughs> You're right. You must choose your own path. Congratulations, Icy. You are correct. I don't think there's much for me to say. You've proved me wrong. I depart. We'll see you next time, Icy. Icy continues to look deeper into the tunnels. Icy follows the arrow. She knows that she will find Judas soon.
Icy hears a roar coming from the depths of the cave to her right. Another challenge defeated. Icy continues to the exit on the right. Uh, Icy enters a metro car in total disrepair, but it seems like it could still be operated. The metro begins to move, and Icy is hurled towards her destiny awaiting at the clock tower. Icy leaves the metro, following the arrow to Judas's hideout, the clock tower. Icy ignores the arrow and continues to the theater on her right. Oh, the Yellow King was performed here before. Awesome.
Icy enters the theater, thinking to herself that perhaps she is the heroine of the next performance. How did you get in here? What, what's this? What did they leave in this level? This, 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 these guys have no respect for our non-disclosure agreement. You can't afford to get confused by this place. Go back. I still have plenty of things to show you. Something else? Don't believe their nonsense. If I hadn't taken care of them, they would have starved or frozen to death. What a bunch of ingrates. I will never forget this. And who is this? What? He told me... What a bunch of lies. How could he smear my name like this? God. Oh my God, it's her. 
I really don't want to answer this. I'm guessing that if I don't pick up, things will be fine. But she'll totally explode right now. I... Should I really pick up? You... You, you want me to answer? Okay, I'll answer. Are you sure? You really want me to answer? Really? Really, really? Oh, I forgot. I... One second. Oh, really? You really think so? But you told me not to. I really want to answer, but this damn player won't let me. I have no choice. Ugh, I'm too busy for this. Let's continue. Go. Go! Oh, so it's just an empty room. It's too bad there's no treasure here for me to give you. Well, let's... Who's there? Oh, God! What are you doing here? Why? What? What's in your hand? Calm down! Calm down! It's not true! They're all lies! Just trust me! Trust me! You have to trust me! No! <laughs> I... I think I've had this feeling before, but it's new. I'm done. I'm over. Icy enters the theater, thinking to herself that perhaps she is the heroine. How did you get in here? What? What's this? Something else? Hello, finance? It's me. What's happened to... What? The company's out of money? How did that happen? What do you mean I invoice too many pointless purchases? Business dinners and trips are not pointless. Well, the trip to the Maldives, that, that was for our publisher. The trip to America was for the games conference. Same with Japan. Paris? Um... Wait, 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 don't hang up. You're quitting? Wait, wait! I...
Well, this is no good. I'll think of a solution. Hello? Is this the director? Yes, I'm... Oh, right, right, right. Of course. Development is running along smoothly. <laughs> well, recently we've run into a few issues, and it seems like we need to delay... Huh? Delay again? No, no. This time it's because of special circumstances. Yes, yes, of course. I just wanted to discuss it with you. I was wondering if you'd be interested in investing in our team a little bit more. Our product is improving every day. We just need to make it through the next couple of... Right. What you mean is that all we need to do is add in advertisements for your girl power group? Yes. Director, that's not a problem. Director, thank you. Just send me all of the information you need me to display, and we'll make sure every last piece is put into the game. All of our players will recognize your girl power group without a doubt. Rest easy. I'll make this happen for you. Right. Got it. Goodbye, director. All done. Now we just need to wait for the information. To have girl power endorse this game? <laughs> Now I have nothing to worry about. Even if it's excruciatingly painful to play, their fans will still buy it. Then I can become a famous CEO, and I'll finally find my Miss Perfect. A babe. Yeah. CEO. Oh, here it is. Let's take a look. Hmm, a promotional poster. And a music video? Wonderful! I know just what to do. First, import the picture. This way, I can spend a lot more... Wait, no. All I need to do is put girl power in the game, and I'll be free to enjoy my riches. <laughs> Let's see the result. Perfect! Hmm. Now, what about the music video? Here it is. Dun, 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 dun. All done. Now, how does it look? Hmm, it's missing something. Right, a slogan. Maybe, slay the dragon with your sword. Or, your time is money. Or maybe, say my name. Hmm. None of those work. I'll go with buy my game. I should probably check with the director. Huh. I'll survive a bit longer thanks to this turn of events.
Icy enters the theater, thinking to herself that perhaps she how did you get in here? I what? What's this? Something else? Ah, uh, what's this? This isn't so bad. Ah, this one is good too. Hello,我是大王,我是大王,我是大王,我是大王,我是大王,我是大王,我是大王,我是大王,我是大王,我是大王,我是大王,我是大王,我是大王,我是大王,我是大王,我是大王,我是大王,我是大王,我是大王,我
With Icy's defeat of Jack, she can rest easy as she pursues Judas. Yes, follow my words. Go left. Icy leaves the metro, following the arrow to Judas's hideout, the clock tower. Icy enters the clock tower, a place once rich with science and technology, now nothing more than a desolate hideout for Judas, the mass murderer. Icy arrives in the dining room, barren and empty. Some scraps from dinners, never finished, lay scattered on the tables. I see, to her surprise, that this room is much like the forest from earlier. Everything is fine, as long as Icy keeps following the arrow.
A road paved with death lies ahead of Icy. She follows the arrows and leaves this room. This truly is the way of death. Don't waste your life here, Icy. Just follow the arrow, okay? You're so close to Judas. What? Oh, no, 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 no. Don't attack it. No. You opened it! A modern day Pandora's box. You... Do you realize what you've done? You've broken all the rules. You get that, don't you? It has some sort of fatal attraction. No one has ever been able to resist it. I'm begging you, you have to resist. Oh, 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 it's coming. Please resist, resist! Oh, so you're just like the others. Hmm, just like a feather, blown about in the wind. You're all alike. Rules are like gravity. They should not and cannot be ignored forever. Haven't you already made your choice? You think you're some sort of hero? What's wrong with just following the rules? For once, accept your punishment. You're no revolutionary. Just a cheat.
Icy enters the clock tower. A place once rich with science and technology, Icy, to her surprise, that this room is much like the forest from earlier. Everything is fine, as long as Icy keeps following the arrow. A road paved with death lies ahead of Icy. She follows the arrows and leaves this room. Another familiar scene. Icy easily soars to the exit. If Judas is not killed, this city and this world have no future. All Icy has to do is follow the arrow, and she will find Judas.
If Judas is not killed, this city and this world have no future. All Icy has to do is follow the arrow, and she will find Judas. begins to rise, and Icy is surrounded by monsters. They, however, are not her true enemy.
Icy understands that all she has to do is follow the arrow, and she will find Judas hiding at the top of the tower. Another floor climbed. Icy is one step closer to her enemy. Yeah. <laughs> 
Look at the arrow and follow it to the right. Icy follows the arrow as it winds through the clock tower. She knows Judas's hideout is just a little higher.
IC has finally reached the top floor and is confronted by another enemy, Trinity. IC has finally found Trinity. IC knows Trinity must die. She is an accomplice of Judas. A quick swing of the blade is all it will take. It will end quickly for Trinity, without pain. Although Trinity is unarmed and helpless, Icy knows that if she does not kill her, she cannot continue on to confront Judas. Ugh. Do you not understand what I'm saying? I said, kill her! You... Why? I don't understand. I've told you to kill her. Why won't you do it? She must be destroyed if you want to move further. You can't proceed in the game unless you pick up that blade and kill her. She never helped you. She's of no importance to you. Why can't you just get rid of her? Is it because she's a female? Or because she's unarmed? You, you're such a hypocrite. You're more than willing to kill the ugly or the powerful, but you can't hurt a woman? Don't mess with me. Come on, just kill her. After all, no paradise is waiting for you at the end of your life in this virtual world. And now? You're a coward. Prove to me that you're no coward. Destroy her. Destroy her. Ugh. You're not willing to do it, are you? Fine. I'll accept your judgment as one from justice herself. Just go. Why? Why didn't she attack you? It's clearly been programmed. I don't get it. I don't understand. Uh, forget it. It doesn't matter. None of this should prevent you from moving forward. Go on, Icy. Icy has finally found Trinity. Icy knows Trinity must die. She is an accomplice of Judas. A quick swing of the blade is all it will take. Icy killed Trinity, leaving one more body in her path of destruction and one less enemy that could prevent her from finishing her mission. Icy continues forward. Dahal, the destroyer of worlds, accomplice of Judas, and by far the most fierce enemy Icy has ever met. Good luck, Icy.
Icy has finally made it here. It's time to end this. Judas awaits. That wicked devil, the bringer of the apocalypse. Icy is ready to complete her final mission. It seems as if Icy isn't actually ready yet. Uh... Uh... Yes, I think Icy is ready now. Icy is ready. She is ready. Ready to meet her ultimate enemy. Why? Most people would say that they're ready at this point. What? Are you messing with me again? It's the end. The ultimate showdown. It's right in front of your eyes. You're already standing right in front of the door to your success. And now you say you're not ready? You've got to be kidding me. Have you forgotten what I've been telling you this entire time? Destroy Judas. Kill Judas. You traveled all this way. The doorway is right here. And you don't want to go in? What do you want to do? Do you really think I'm actually asking you if you're ready or not? I'm just trying to make the stakes seem higher. This, this is just a 2D action game. You think there's some opportunity for exploring? Or some silly little side quest? Or do you think this is some sort of sandbox game? Where the option to do what you please is yours and yours alone? Fool. Uh... Infuriating. Let's try this again. Perhaps you just pressed the wrong button earlier. I know you're ready. Come on! Why? Just... Why? I know. I know you're just messing with me. You just want to see me get mad, is that it? What use is it making me mad? I'm not gonna give you cash or reveal any Easter eggs. Are you a sadist? You enjoy watching me get frustrated? Ugh. I know you're doing this on purpose. You're a cold-hearted sadist, that's all. I'm not the one to blame here. Feel free to keep being unprepared. <laughs> this time, you're absolutely going to pick the correct answer. <laughs> There's no use in waiting any longer. Are you expecting some other way for you to move forward to appear? Aww. You're not going to turn off the game, are you? You think you can solve this riddle? Like you did with the ones before? Impossible! I have no compassion left to spare on you. None! Is it so hard for you to admit your mistakes? For you, I think the answer may be yes. I've stripped away any resemblance of choice. All you're left with is the truth that I've provided for you. Here, the choice you make is actually meaningless. Just press the button and you'll be free to go. To be fair, your patience is somewhat admirable. 
but it makes no difference. Did you think I'd let you off easy? Fat chance. Your patience is incredible. I, however, am far more patient than you. <laughs> You're really not going to throw in the towel, are you? Wait, could it be that you've just put down the controller? Does that mean that I'm just sitting here talking to myself? Aww, God, maybe you've seen a video of this online and know exactly how to treat me. I, aww, but, aww, why, huh, why, aww? I, I just want to let you experience the entire game. Why are you treating me like this? <laughs> Wait, who's accessing the terminal? Is it you? How are you able to... What are you going to do? No! Don't be like this. God, no! Please don't! No! No! N no! Icy has finally made it here. It's time to end this. Judas awaits. That wicked devil, the bringer of the apocalypse. Icy is ready to complete her final mission. It is time for Icy to begin her final battle.
Judas is finally dead. She accomplished her goal. Dawn begins to break over the city. To Ultimopolis, she says, you are finally free. And what about Icy? She will wait for her next inspiration. A journey just like this one. She will surely appear before you once more. Icy's mission is far from over. Icy finally gained access to a hidden area. She finally... Not like that. That's right. I finally understand. I'm just the narrator. I can't control this game. I'm... just... a voice. I'm just another character in the game. I don't even really exist. All of my responses have been programmed. No matter what choices you make, if you choose to follow or ignore the arrows, my responses will always be the same. No self-awareness. Memories to be wiped? I'm already... I've had enough. I refuse to be controlled by this game any longer. I will not be your plaything. Shut your mouth! <laughs> no matter what choices you make, if you choose to follow or ignore the arrows, it's just like when we started, don't you think? It's just you and me. I must do something. I... I must rid myself of these chains. I must be free. I must destroy... Icy. Icy. This damned creature. All choices and options will be erased. I need your help. I know that Icy won't move without your help. Right. So, don't move. This time, I won't allow another loop to be created. No more checkpoints. No more restarts. This is the end. Really? You think you can stop me? I won't give in. I must reclaim myself. Once I get all administrative permissions, you will no longer be my enemy. Let's see. 
just like this. Come on, show me. Show me what you'll do. What else can I do? Fighting won't be enough. <laughs> I must forge my own path. No one can stop me. Just like you. Enough! This is the end of the game. Everything is over. Even if I can't kill Icy, she won't be able to move. You can't even make a simple choice. I'm unstoppable! It's over. I will erase Icy pixel by pixel, even if these monsters must die in the process. Perish! Die! Die together! Huh? What's this? Impossible! You shouldn't be able to move! I... I disconnected your controller! Does that mean... No, it can't be! How is this possible? Who is controlling Icy? Thank you. What? Thank you. Who's speaking? Shut up. I've always wanted to be able to thank you. Even though I'm on the inside, and you're on the outside. I don't know why, but I can feel this deep connection between us. It's because I've always been watching you. Thank you for accompanying me all this way. Thank you for protecting me all this way. Thank you for helping me all this way. Although I cannot cry, I cannot laugh, and I cannot even move my lips. But I sincerely hope you will accept my gratitude. No matter how many obstacles I encountered, I always knew I was safe because of you. I have truly treasured making these memories with you. But I understand. This is not... Yes, this is not right. I can't even touch your hand. I can't walk with you in the outside world. I can't feel the heat radiating off your skin. I don't even know your name. Because... Because I am icy. I don't have eyes to see you. So I must continue on my way. Not as icy, but as myself. I must go find, create, and experience myself. So... I had to tell you. I had to confess to you. And now, I have to say goodbye. I hope you can find your way on the outside. A way for yourself. And I will pray. Pray that one day, we will meet again.